Role-based audio mixing fixes Final Cut Pro's major weakness, and it's super easy to implement. Give me 500 seconds, and I'll show you. This video is brought to you by Motion VFX, the leading creator of plugins for Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve. From December 25th to January 3rd, use code GREAT2024 to get 25% off individual plugins. Or sign up for Cine Studio, where you gain access to over 15 premium products, including Roto AI for effortless rotoscoping, M Tracker 3D for dynamic 3D tracking, and M Film Look for that Hollywood grade polish. Get 60 M credits cash back when you buy a yearly subscription. Elevate your video editing to cinematic heights with motion VFX. Final Cut doesn't have the most powerful audio editing capabilities. It's one of its limitations that kind of has been around since the beginning of Final Cut Pro X. But there are workarounds that work really well in a lot of cases. One of the, the biggest frustrations, if you wanted to add in noise reduction, on a whole bunch of clips, on all these clips, there's something weird that happens in between the edits. If you put on any kind of audio effects, like a channel EQ, or if you do a limiter or a compressor, there are instances where going between one edit and another can create this just random pop, especially if you use a, a limiter. If I was to go in and start putting it for every single clip here, if I want to make a change, we're back to that same thing where I have to remove all the effects from the clips and then re-add them. And that becomes a little bit tedious and it becomes unnecessary work because uh, we have two pieces of music that we're using here. Trying to add it for every single piece just becomes a little bit harder to mix. There may be some instances where the dialogue is a little bit louder or a little bit quieter, or I need to do specific audio corrections for individual clips, and that's necessary. But if I want to mix everything all together, where we're in the final stages, I've done all the audio corrections, I've made the, the balances for where there's mistakes or pops or any kind of weirdness, trying to then go in and mix this, it becomes hard to kind of follow. This is where role-based audio editing and mixing becomes very, very handy. So uh, we talked about roles before where we can highlight the, all the effects and all the music. You can separate them out to see them a little bit better. If you click on show all audio lanes, we have all the music. So it's easier to see what we need to see. But again, there's no way to drop any kind of effects onto these roles as like, oh, I just want to blanket affect everything in the dialogue or everything on the audio. It's a great way to isolate it, roles. This is the part of roles. It becomes so useful down the line. We have the whole edit, everything's done. We can select everything by pressing Command A, right clicking, and then just making a new compound clip. And we're just going to name it compound clip and everything gets baked into one compound clip. And you're probably thinking, okay, now what? I don't see anything. How is this going to help me mix? By right-clicking and expand audio components. Watch this. So we prepped everything with audio rolls, and now we have all the dialogue, all the effects, and all the music onto their own channels. If I went in and say I changed this music to be let's just say uh, another role. So I added another one here. I call that VO. So if you ever have voiceover, you can make it its own role and then go back. And then that role shows up as its own full layer. So this is my workaround to start mixing in Final Cut Pro. Cause now I can go in and add an effect directly to that role. Every clip in that sequence that had dialogue in it, I can now edit and just let it play. It is focused on efficient AI. It's going to click analyzer so we can see. With Apple's focus on on-demand processing. Apple also previously acquired Spectral. You can start making your audio edits here. Or, or vice versa, where it's like, oh, it's not loud enough. You can from the blanket control. raise everything. Apple's video codecs are or, of how their AI is being used. Or if the music is not loud enough, or it's interfering, you can actually go onto the music channel and just drop down the frequencies that are playing 
in the same space as the voiceover. You can do all that very quickly right here in a compound clip while showing all the components. Then you can just take this whole one clip and export this as one full export with all your uh, audio effects and changes. But this really only works after you've locked your picture because it becomes a little bit tedious to have to go in and then make little edit audio edit changes. And then, so let's say like, oh, I actually want to delete this whole section here and see how everything moved over. And then we go back, the length didn't change. And you can't just take that and, and just crop it down. You actually have to collapse all the audio, trim this back, and then trim it forward to make it the right length. Because if you don't, you'll actually render out the whole section with black. So I just put that back. So audio editing with rolls, and this is assuming that you've done all the prep work beforehand, where you've set up all your individual audio channels into their very specific roles, like the voiceover, the dialogue, the sound effects, the music, anything that should live in its own space, you want to make sure that you've done all that prep work. So when you do a compound clip, you can then make any of your final audio mixing and effects on these roles. And I found that this is one of the best workarounds until Final Cut is able to get audio buses and being able to just drag audio effects directly onto these roles. Cause that would be, that would make way more sense. Cause it's, it would be doing the exact same thing that I was just doing, but without having to make a compound clip. So waiting for Apple to be able to allow me just to go here and just drop the effects right onto the audio roll. That would be fantastic. Oh, because we're working with audio, you wanna make sure that you have your audio meters turned on. If you just click on the audio meters that are playing right underneath the viewer, they actually pop up and you can make them bigger or smaller. You can also go to window, show in workspace, audio meters, or shift command eight. Is that why series progress? So I'm just gonna turn it back on. Show in workspace, audio meters. If you want to get the most out of Final Cut Pro, check out my masterclass, Enhanced Editing, with over 10 hours of lessons just like this one to help you master your craft and elevate your story. The link is in the description. Also, here's a playlist with more Final Cut Pro tips and tricks. As always, thanks for watching.